Hey guys, welcome back. It looks like Ash is, uh, has been removed from Whatnot. There was a temporary suspension, but now it is, uh, it lo it's looking like a permanent ban. Now, I'm not exactly sure what was the cause of this. I don't think it was the fact that I covered that they, they messed up. They had the wrong amount of tickets within their stuff. It could be a number of other things. It could be previous reports that were going overlooked in the past, but maybe they went in and, and dug them up. Again, I've heard countless stories about bad things that were going on within that stream, within their streams. Uh, they, they said themselves that six months ago they messed up in a similar way. Now, whether or not the last event was intentional, they thought they could just make up for it, like give out the last two tickets, and then like also pretend the odds were better than they were the entire time. Maybe they got in trouble because they didn't want a refund. Maybe they maybe they got in trouble just because whatnot realized the fact that you shouldn't have a child providing an online casino to people and you got to be breaking some laws there like not only are you, do you have to stray away from the online casino aspect uh when you're a platform that is not licensed that as, as a casino but also the fact that you have a child there uh and no it's not a, it's not a good excuse it's not a it's not the answer is not to have his dad there with him as he provides online gambling that's just, it's just a weird it's a whole weird scenario that it's crazy to me that it even exists I know there is rules that uh, that children can be on the stream, uh, provided the fact that like if you know their parents are present uh, and supervising the entire time. Uh, from what I heard, he's, he wasn't necessarily supervising the entire time. Whether or not he was giving you know, his best effort, maybe he had to go take a dump at some point, uh, and he went and did that. Well, while his child was uh, running the online gambling ring that they had going, um, but regardless, it's just a, it's just a bad look and maybe it makes a whole lot more sense if if it's just somebody that's um it's a kid not old enough to sell on their own same with like an ebay or something like that where if a parent opens an ebay account uh, to help their kid uh buy and sell stuff sure all right but again ebay's even even ebay's own terms of service they say that you had to be 18 to have an account to make an account uh so it would have to be primarily the parent's account primarily the parent was doing like the buying and selling and that stuff so not to mention the fact that probably, well, I guess yeah, as a kid, maybe you could link your bank account or your pay. Well, no, I think PayPal, you also, do you have to be 18 for PayPal? Maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. But regardless, that's, it's outside of that because it, it's in, it's in gamble land. So um, my best guess is probably that they started actually following through with the, the terms of service that they updated. Uh, and I know there's a lot of people on that. Uh, there's been a lack of action on whatnot's part to enforce those new rules uh, with people doing gambles to gamble with more gambling on it. Uh, and maybe this is the start of that. Maybe it's this in combination with the fact that it's, it's bad optics, as Blake would say, uh, that you, you have a child providing gambling services on your platform. It's it's not it's not a good look. So let's go through the uh, we got the r slash whatnot app. Reddit. Let's see what they're saying. We got uh, Shibo here who says Ash, Ash Ketchum has been permanently banned from whatnot. Is whatnot actually listening to users or are they just listening to rattle? I don't know if they're listening to me. I don't know if it like if if it's a motivation for them to look into stuff. Uh, within this video, we got a double feature today. Double feature. We're gonna take a look again at TCG Evolutions who uh, addressed in in a in a note about my video. Uh, and it's pretty comical. It's pretty comical. I don't know if they're in a little bit of a panic. I have no, absolutely no clue how they're not banned at this point. Uh, if whatnot was directly listening to me, uh, this is, this is a guy, um, or a guys that were threatening a game store with a lawsuit because they were saying that they provided them, they, they supplied them with resealed packs. that were actually God boxes. So we got like the shit, the scum of the earth, TCG evolutions, Who's in here? Who's gonna say? How are they not banned? How does that not like? How do you not automatically want to be disassociated with that as as a as a company? I, it blows my mind. Absolutely blows my mind. We'll get into a little bit of that. We'll get into what they're saying over there. Again, if they would like to uh, to talk to me, they're welcome to do so. I doubt very much that they do. Have my doubts. So, uh, what do we got here? We have Barbie33 saying, yes, as a seller in the community, this shit pumps me up. Another dirty scammer gone cleaning up our category. Future Expression 44, is it petty that I want to see their reaction to this information? The dad was always really rude and mean. That's true. He's like, here comes, what does he say? Here comes the dumbasses or something like that. 
even in, within the clips that we that we had that we showed. Shibo saying, "If you're petty, I'm petty too." That guy is a jerk, and I just knew he wouldn't get into any trouble. I'd like to see what he has to say now. LOL. Just Chrissy saying, "We are all petty. If that's the case, sick and tired of scammers." Another W. So, like, that's the thing. It's just like I think just whatnot in general. These online platforms in general just uh, they onboarded too many people. They were too lax with the rules from the get go, uh, and people pushed it as hard as they possibly could because there's way more money to be made in ripping people off and or gambling streams than there is just doing doing breaks, doing box breaks, doing single sales and stuff like that. That kind of the platform probably was designed to be. But then as it gets pushed, as it gets pushed, all of a sudden you're you're telling Maggie to go in and rip her off for a thousand dollars on or a couple thousand dollars on a on a rigged energy game. Again, it, the, the further it strays from actually like just selling uh, and box breaks and stuff like that, selling singles and box breaks, like the less the more we're online, we're in online casino zone here. You can tell too the panic, everyone that's doing this gambling shit on there is is just they're like they're they're losing the shit they're like oh well we gotta go somewhere else we gotta I, how am i gonna survive without my gambling my gambling money how am i supposed to sell packs to people if there's no gamble on top of it i'm doing it for them it's for the community it's for the children it's it's for <laughs> jesus christ man it's not it's so you can make more money either by scamming or by an online casino ask platform or business model that should not exist and is going to get in trouble. He was probably mad because they don't want a kid running gambling streams on their platform. Bad optics. Crypto God 666. You, I think you hit it nail on the head here. Clay post grass notes agreed. I think that's ultimately what sealed it for them. So that or just like maybe some combination. It's weird that the 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 ban notice is just like the account has gone all together. It's not just like temporarily like, uh, or not temporarily, but it doesn't say that they've been permanently banned, but the profile is still available. It's just gone altogether. So maybe it's an underage thing, underage gambling. I don't know. Much like Blake and many other scammers, they've been reported a million times. What not only does anything when Rattle exposes it, though, Rattle is the one who we owe our gratitude to. Uh, I see you, do you? Uh, I appreciate the kind words. Um, maybe it's a little bit of that. Maybe it, it like... I mean, again, in the video that we showed there, uh, there's people that have done far worse and I've made a video about it, but it could be that on the back end of things, they've had so many complaints uh, that that's just a reason for them to like prioritize it. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. I don't, again, we don't know the exact reason for the ban. Uh, if it took me pointing out the fact that they're running an online casino with a child dealer, Dealer, we call do we call them dealers now? G dealers. Who is Rattle? New town. Ooh, we got we got the promotion here. He says Rattle Pokemon on YouTube. He's the coffee Zilla of whatnot. Oh, God damn it! No, I can be. Can I? Uh, I'm okay if you want to say I'm the coffee Zilla of Pokemon. I'm okay with that. Don't I don't want to be. Don't put whatnot in my title. I know there's been a lot of whatnot videos recently. The 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 great cleansing, um, but. Chill, chill on that. Do not, no. Mm -mm. Take that out of there. Edit, edit. Mike Swizzy says, as long as someone <laughs> is 18 and older uh, is there, it's okay to do, but good riddance, they gone, but they're going to scam somewhere else now. Scammer's going to scam. So I think like as long as the 18 year old or older is there, this is for the people that want to have like their kids on stream. If you have kids at home, maybe they're stay at home parent or something like that. And they got, you know, they got little offspring running around all over the place screaming and they got to say that they're doing it for the kids they got to make sure they get the extra the extra dollars they'll say that the it would be like some kid that doesn't give a fuck about pokemon uh and they're in the in the background be like yeah i'm doing this with my kids it's my i'm, I'm doing it with my kids guys i'm doing it for the kids you guys you, oh guys yeah we're, we're trying to we got mouths to feed here we're definitely not going out and getting bottle service like the blakers we gotta we gotta feed our dogs cats children all of it. Pokemon Trainer last says, almost positive it's because of an active investigation on Blake's Breaks. So, I mean, it could be like a stem off of this, too. Um, cool little note on the Blake stuff. Apparently, people are getting refunds 
even if they didn't submit tickets. So I think that they're just like actively going through uh, all of the previous streams or maybe what's available or what gets reported. And then anyone, I would still, still just submit a ticket on everything. Worst case, if you don't think anything bad was going on, I got bad news for you. It's probably going, there's probably bad stuff going on. Just submit a ticket for every single purchase. If you don't have the timestamp for it, just be like, if you, no, don't, maybe, okay, maybe be a little bit nicer than that. Say, hey, whatnot, you're my favorite app, but I don't have this because you don't provide video uh, all the way back then when they were scamming me, and, you know, previous to the, the time frame. Uh, and if they say like, oh, well, it's outside of the window or something like that, just tell them to shove it. So uh, I think that's mostly if people are, don't send emails, just send the tickets and then hopefully they get all the tickets. Apparently they're, they're, they're trickling out, they're trickling out the refunds. I don't know how long it's going to take. I don't know why they don't provide some kind of update on that or I, I guess like process that they're going through. Um, you would think that that would help. RB8, B88. Saying this is a huge win for the community, but I hope the kid takes this as a learning opportunity. He's being punished for the father's scummy behavior. Now, you can't claim to be for the people or doing this for the community while ripping people off like they were or making honest mistakes that ruined the trust and whatnot and the Pokemon groups. Job is not done. We may take this hobby back, y'all. Um, yeah, so like the learning mistakes, I don't know. I just feel like if you if your role models are kind of like shitty people that are going to call people dumbasses that are disagreeing with you and stuff like that, you, you, you don't have you don't have a great shot at becoming like a good person. I don't think. I, I mean, maybe maybe there's a chance. Maybe he goes off on his own. He doesn't call people dumbasses or or things like that. But like, I don't I don't know. It's it it seems like. It seems just like a defense mechanism or something like that, that he isn't just running the stream on his own, that he has his kid doing it, because then there's going to be like, oh my god, I can't believe you're picking on a child that's just trying to, you just, I've seen it a couple times, just a child trying to run his business. I don't care if it's a child and his father that are there. The, the gambling stuff just not, needs to not be there. Clearly, you shouldn't be, it shouldn't be happening anywhere. You can't go, are you going to go get him a job at an online casino? And it's okay because his father's sitting there next to him? Like... It's like a it's like a seven hour stream. What is what does his dad do that he can like sit there for seven hours with him if they're not making some kind of money off of it? And again, it's just like the double gambling. It's probably also the double gambling. The double gambling. Maybe that was the rule. Maybe I don't know. I don't know exactly. But this should at least make people a little bit more weary of uh, breaking the new terms of service. Uh, I didn't I didn't know when it was going to happen. I didn't know if it would ever happen. That they would crack down on this kind of stuff, uh, but they that maybe they did here. Full ad sixty five oh two saying notice that all of these scammers had the world's worst giveaways. Blake first Blake now Ash definitely a strong correlation there. Father cards is another. It's almost like these streamers who make millions and give nothing back are scumbags. Who would have guessed? Um, so yeah, the like the worst the worst giveaways. What what? Oh, I don't know if it was in the clips that I showed. It was probably in the in the longer footage that's up on Twitter um, that I put on Twitter that's linked in the description of that video, of the Ash video. But um, he's going on about how he was giving away Halloween packs, like with the purchases. Like he, 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 he they look after people because he was giving away a Halloween pack. How much did those cost? Was it like $10 a bag? So like you're giving people less than a dollar as a like thing? Which is fine. If you want to throw one of those in, great. But, like, really weird to, like, say that you're doing it for people. It's kind of a kind of a weird thing to, to, to kind of bring up as, like, how you're a nice person when people are spending a ton of money on your gambling stream. I don't get it. If anyone else gets it, I don't know. Uh, I don't know who this uh, Father Cards is, but this is coming up here. Yeah, Father Cards streams are always shady. Everything goes for way over comps, and I notice a lot of shill bidding in the stream. So if you guys think that shill bidding is not happening on these platforms, you are sorely mistaken. Uh, we've seen examples where it gets called out, um, but namely either like someone has to throw someone under the bus usually for this to happen, or they have to be very lazy in doing it themselves. Uh, shout out to Harvey uh, about that one. Uh, if they're on the stream and they play with their phone every time that Jessica bids, then yeah, okay. You, you can get caught if you're really stupid. 
But typically, if you have other people, especially these people that have a team, they have a team of streamers. They're a streaming team. Uh, you think they aren't like on other accounts on a, with a VPN or like at a different location and they're bidding on the shin? Like that is a, that is like one of the things where just like, again, if these people are scamming and they're, they even have half a brain cell, you're not going to catch them. Oh, luckily, they don't. And we do catch them. But. There's a lot of stuff. You're at the mercy. When you're buying any of this crap, you're at the mercy of whoever is doing the stuff. And that's without the like really, really shady gambling uh, manipulation and all that kind of thing. We're just talking straight up if they were selling packs, if they were auctioning things, other than like straight sales, uh, even then they can kind of like hide condition or something like that, I guess. But for the most part, uh, that'll come out in the wash. But if they're doing auctions of any kind, yes, people could be shill bidding. People on any auction platform, there could be show bids. They could happen. Be aware of it. Don't get caught up bidding against someone else because that person you're bidding against might not have the intention of paying for that item. No matter where you're bidding, auctions are a good way to get a deal. But set your price. Don't pay above market price. Make sure that you can't get it for less somewhere else because that's the theme too. There's a lot of these, these people that are trying to sell you on stuff. Uh, and they're going to do the old carnival nonsense again. It's 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 just neck and neck. It's just it's online carnival to the extreme where they're going to say something is way more valuable than it is when it's not. <laughs> Butterfly Simple <laughs> says he was giving away jungle pack wrappers for giveaway. I guess that's a little, is that better? Is that better than that? The trick or trade packs? <laughs> Um, I guess they're talking about father cards here. Father claims he does the streams for the people and doesn't need to <laughs> need to stream. My ass dude is totally screwing at the community. Total scammer. So you notice like where the people that claim that they don't need to do it, they don't need the income, that they're rich. Uh, uh, they for whatever reason they don't they 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 do need the money. They're the ones that need the money. They're they're trying to bullshit you and they're trying to make it seem like oh I have I, I have too much money to rip you off. I totally wouldn't do that. And then it turns out they don't have that much money. Uh, we have removed whatnot from his IG. Yeah, so I would imagine that they'll probably stream elsewhere. I don't know what the rules are on if TikTok allows children to sell. But I mean, they can't They can't really sell, right? I don't know what the rules are in, in terms of like the gambling stuff. But I'm pretty sure TikTok is more strict about all of that. Future Expression 44 says Pokemon Wizard is next, hopefully. Uh, I'm hearing a lot of bad things, Pokemon Wizard. Yeah, you better, you better look out. Warm Heroin Hug. Jesus. That is a, that is quite the username. Pokemon Wizard is super legit. W2F are you talking about? Okay, maybe this checks out. Minus 35. So this is like, if anyone wants to see like the amount of like complaints that I receive about Pokemon Wizard... This is a pretty good indication here. When someone defends on me, it gets minus 35. All right, we got, and yes, Pokemon Wizard. Yeah, yeah, if anyone has Pokemon Wizard info, please send it my way. We got Sir Agapi here who says, you must not have been around when he sold $10,000 worth of slabs, claimed he got robbed going to the post office, then tried to resell those same slabs like one to two weeks later. So stupid. Why are scammers so stupid? Yes, it makes my life easier exposing this crap. Yes, it makes everyone's life easier to just find out who the bad people are. And then, like, don't trust them anymore. You don't, like, the thing is, is like, okay, do we give people second chances if they say something stupid, if they do something stupid? Sure. But when it's your money that you're dealing with here, and somebody is a crook and has proven a crook and has called out for being a crook, and there's evidence that this person is a crook, don't risk your money with them. I mean, yeah, I guess you can. You, it's your money. Do what you want to do with it. But, like, at the same time, why? Why would you? I've had this argument before. They're like, oh, yeah, he was a scammer before, but, like, I would trust him now. I was like, you would trust him now. Okay, so, like, give him, give him 10 grand. See what he does with it. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna trust him with 10 grand? You're going you're gonna to pay pal, friends, and family him 10 grand and hope he sends you stuff? This is a different scammer we're talking about here, but, like, that's the kind of shit that, like, okay, sure. Sure. And the same thing with just like, if you're running a platform like this, why are you not doing criminal record checks? If you had a sale, if you had a salesperson on any, in any other industry, 
And I know whatnot's going to be like, oh, well, it's, it's up to individuals. We do our best to protect the community. Well, okay, so do it up front. If you're going to do onboarding and everything else, if you're going to treat somebody like an employee, essentially, uh, that's representing your business, you're going to make it a process to go through that and make sure that they're following the rules and all that stuff like that. But, like, should you not make sure that you now have criminals that have stolen in the past okay so maybe they have something that's unrelated and it was some stupid crap and like maybe you give them it's it's the same with any employer i get it it's not the same they're not like being paid a a salary or or, uh, an hourly wage to be on there for you but why shouldn't it be treated the same way i don't get i don't get it i don't know if there's laws against them uh, not being allowed to do that but if you have somebody that's known for whether if it's any kind of scam any sort of like theft or things like that like just just cut it off before it even gets on there so you got be saying it was a while back but very well documented case i'm sure there's info here on reddit when it happened i had seen it all over facebook yeah we'll have to we'll have to look into that maybe that'll be that'll be an upcoming video look forward to that we have at least manner thirty four sixty nine who says there's a lot of sixty nines in these uh, usernames here on this uh, whatnot app uh, Reddit. I don't know if there are a lot of the accounts were created. Uh, Post Blake Reddit getting a surge in new users. Wizard price gouges chat. This is a two hundred dollar slab. Looks it up and it's seventy five dollars last sold. So yeah, a lot of them do this too, which is just like. People are going to argue, like, you should know the prices or whatever. But, like, when there's people that are new to the hobby and they want to trust somebody and, they, you know, whatnot gives them a platform to do that on and they're approved to sell and they're selling stuff or they appear to be selling stuff, whether or not it's, the, you know, their friend or their wife or their dog that's bidding on this shit uh, in order to, like, make it go to the prices that it's going for. Maybe, maybe they let some stuff go cheap and they're like, oh, my God, the deals, the deals are unreals. Uh, but any anytime there's auctions, anytime there's people that are saying like this is like dirty auction house, like back alley auction house tactic kind of thing, like saying that uh, this thing is way more valuable than what it is. It's it's shady. Um, and yes, like saying that it's a certain dollar value, like where do you cut the line off at that? Like. The, the worst the worst offenders I mean we saw like TCG evolutions recently where they're like oh I think well, I think we paid somewhere like around this but it's actually probably worth around this because there's a listing on eBay that's this much holy moly so like the, this is to the point where it's just like this is just and again there's probably a lot of the buyers that are on whatnot just don't realize that you probably don't want to be purchasing from a lot of people on there so this is like a newbie trap so do you want your platform to be known as an online casino do you want to be known as the online casino that has children that are dealers at your online casino do you want to be known as the place where people get ripped off do you want to be known as the newbie trap the newbie trap where people go when they first get into the hobby uh, and they start listening to people telling them that the price is something far exceeding what it is like the more than double if it's if this example is the exact numbers of what they were saying so like i get it maybe you say that it's like probably a hundred bucks sure you don't need to maybe you don't need to look up every last sold um maybe you don't need to even say what the what the value is of it if you're going to run it at an auction the value is whatever people are going to pay for it outside of the fact that you probably have people bidding on it not necessarily wizard but anyone in general that is again you got very few people in these streams when they're running a ton of auctions you really think that Really think that they're going? They're going for market value. They shouldn't be. Otherwise, you just buy it for market value. Future expression saying, "Hopefully, you're being sarcastic." He takes the packs from off screen. Has incorrect comps. Will ban anyone in chat that disagrees with his comps, etc. Don't like the prices. Don't buy. Yeah, overcharging or but like misleading prices. Um, then we got, uh, he takes vintage packs from off screen, which is, yeah, the off screen stuff is, man, there's a lot of shenanigans. They can go on with that. Or like stuff where if stuff doesn't need to be pulled, that's a chase. If stuff can be pulled, if if the seller knows where stuff is, it's just like, you just need to get rid of the, you just need to get rid of the mystery crap. Maybe mystery bags make sense or like something like that. As long as everything has to be sold, start to finish. 
maybe they have to be auctions, but then if you force people into auctions, then they're going to be show bidding. There's, it's just like a lose-lose with all of the mystery everything. I just like mystery, mystery packs, mystery anything in general is just like, God, it hurts my head to think that anyone would want that shit because it's just it's just junk that people are trying to get rid of whether it's the mj holding fucking nonsense on the whatnot on the not on the whatnot on the walmart shelves uh whether it's something that's put together by someone that probably is taking advantage of you or trying to get rid of crap it's the rare candy crap with lee and hart where it's got friggin psa 9 base at two ratatas if you want some of those you just you just gotta dm howlin and he'll send you one probably I didn't know you won't probably. I think he he sent me his only one. Um, night press gouging, vintage packs off screen. Every slab uh, was always under comps. Um, I don't know about that. People like are weird with pricing stuff. It's like very easy to price things. This is Wizard's brother on an or an alt. Um, yeah, so like I don't know. I've I've seen I've seen many examples of the the overpricing or over many stories, many examples of of the saying stuff is way more valuable than what it is. Yes, I get that maybe it doesn't sell for that much, but if you're tricking people into thinking they're getting a deal, you're probably not a good person. Uh, how do we know he was banned? All right, we'll scroll through this just in case anyone wants to read it. Next wizard. Hello, I was dad's probably, oh my god, I gotta get a job to provide for my family again. Now they're just going to drip or TikTok live to continue. I mean, well, I don't think they can do mystery things with a mystery wheel at the end of the mystery. Pretty sure. And again, it's just like, if you have anyone that is banned from any of these platforms, there's probably a reason for it. Again, we have the the whatnots to help maintain a trusted space, uh, and again, they were they were breaking multiple of these rules. Like clearly, the 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 bag that is already gambling uh, with the additional raffle tickets uh, to go into another. So like, no paid raffles or randomized results, uh, and then paid entries into races wheels, that kind of thing. I mean, we went through it last time. We won't touch on it again, but essentially, it was gambling on gambling which uh, is apparently a no-no. So we have a little statement here. We have uh, we have some online articles um, here where there might be issues in terms of like the, the miners being able to disavow contracts uh, that they enter and probably why the eBay user agreement doesn't permit anyone that is a miner or under 18 to use the service. So I don't know if this applies or whether or not the whatnot terms and conditions are kind of point that towards the adult is supposed to be the one running the stream not the child and they're just kind of sitting there bashing or calling people dumbasses while they do it again but i think this all gets like thrown out the window when it when it comes to the fact that you have an online casino that's being run here so um yes it, it's gonna blow everyone's mind but you have to be 21 to work at a casino in the states I would imagine that it's the same age if it's an online casino, whether it's an online casino, a regular casino, and no, your daddy cannot sit there and watch you deal blackjack. That's not how it works. That's not. <laughs> can you can you imagine? You show up to an interview. All right, so TCG Evolutions, you'll see here they still have me blocked, and yes, these are the same G Baller sixty nine pussy wussies, absolute idiots. Yes, he has the arm tattoo. Why wouldn't he? Um, that is, uh, he was ripping off the game store. Um, or trying to rip off the game store here, uh, claiming that uh, if you want to watch these videos, I will have them available down below. Essentially threatening the game store, saying like, hey, we don't want to take legal action, but we're going to take legal action uh, because uh, one of them is going to law school and thought he had a big dick, uh, but he doesn't. It's a tiny dick. You're going to law school, um, and hopefully law school finds out about how you're trying to rip people off and threaten people uh, with fake lawsuits. Because essentially, these little cheese weasel bitch bastards got god boxes, and then they were faking the fact. We got all the kinds. Of, we got all the receipts here. They were faking the fact. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. Um, they were faking the fact that these were resealed. So this is this is their doing after the fact. They're gonna go. Oh, the boxes were weird. There were no hits in them. 
Now you guys see all the hits on the bottom here? These were like god boxes that had trainer gallery galore. And you can watch all of their openings. You can see here plenty of hits, more hits than usual. They're going on about how they got totally ripped off. We had like Pikachu's up the butt, textured Pikachu's up the butt from this Lost Origin, or these Lost Origin openings. Uh, he would be like, Wainbow, where? Wainbow, where? We got him. Wainbow. <laughs> no Wainbows. Uh, oh, oh, here we go. We got like all the, the Pikachu's here. I don't know if this is like where the third one comes in. Oh, yeah, there's three down there at the moment uh, on the bottom left. So like... You got, like, the best stuff coming out of these boxes. He's blowing his absolute load, and you have the nerve to try to rip off the game store that you got the product from. Like, you're a shitty, absolute shitty person, uh, and I don't know how these people are allowed on the platform. Like, I get it. They they were more ripping stuff off in the back end of things, but if you think they're, you think they're not doing something else there? You think they're not doing something else? They got a nice little statement on here. It seems they might be a little concerned, and they should be. They shouldn't be allowed on the platform. They shouldn't be allowed on any platform. No one should trust them. It's not a thing that you want to do. All right, let's make myself bigger here. Like I got a, a, a Super Mario mushroom. Show notes to address the rattle video. Which one? Do you want to talk about the... Would you like to go back and talk about how you were ripping off the game store? Just some key points to hit first. We always showed the gold card at the end of every stream. We even went back and clipped them on the channel today if people want to check. So, first off, that's not the issue. Whether Even if the gold card is in there, you knowing where it is and being able to tell somebody where it is, being able to have it marked, being able to know exactly what slot it's in, when you can go in and reach for it, you can tell somebody to go and buy it to if you want to. If let's say you want to fake a win, cool. You and the other wiener baby extremes can go in there, can go through the packs, can go find the one that's the winner because you know the number. If someone wants to say, "Oh, it's 27 from the on the left-hand side, 27 from the front," can you give me that one, please? And oh my God, I can't. We had a winner. We had a winner. We got to put another one in there, guys. Let me stick it in somewhere where I know where it is. Do you not see that, or the fact that you can just avoid it? You have a black. You have a box full of black packs that you can't even tell which one is which. They all kind of meld together on your shitty setup. Yes. Yes. That is, that's, that's a no-no. That's automatically a no-no. Not to mention the fact that you're a proven, dirty, shitty scammer that is looking to take advantage of people. Uh, not just, uh, if you're going to take advantage of your supplier, why, why, why wouldn't we think that you're going to take advantage of your customers? You're going to do the same shit to people. Fuck off. All right, we have, we really respect what the Rattle does for the community, and we have nothing negative to say about him. What? You respect what I do, but you blocked me. Again, if uh, I, at no point did they ever come out and say, "Hey, guys, we're really sorry." Uh, to my knowledge, they did not. I, they didn't even apologize to the game store for the stupid shit that they tried to pull. You are you're shitty people, and you deserve to not be in Pokemon anymore. If you're gonna steal from people, you don't. No one should be buying from you. No one should be selling you stuff. You should be just on a complete blacklist if you're going to pull that shit. Pull the stupid fucking lawyer shit where like, oh, I'm going to take legal action. No, you're not. Because you're a fucking scammer. You should be kicked out of school too for fucking ethics. Little bitch. Little bitches. And anyone that's involved with this and working with them, whether it was all of them in on the stupid lawsuit crap, or it was one of them that decided to be a fucking idiot, Denounce the shit. Distance yourself from those people that are doing that stuff. Get the hell away from it. You don't want to be involved. You shouldn't be involved. No one should be going to your stream. And it's sad that there's going to be some new people that are going to go there. And they're probably going to buy something. And you're probably going to rip them off. Because Whatnot hasn't done anything about it. This is fucking full bullshit. You're dumb. The idea behind the black label bag was always people might grab them towards the end of the box when the majority of the bags had been hit if the gold card was not. <laughs> hit, but we hear the criticism and we should have thought of something better. No, you're the, the, again, this is another example of a shitty person that is known to scam people. We have written proof that they're scamming people. We have video proof that they were on the platform opening God boxes, that they hid the broadcasts. 
they hid the broadcasts. So this is another like whatnot. Smarten the fuck up. Don't allow people to hide the broadcasts. And you'll, you'll this was way more work, way more effort because I had to get somebody that purchased from the stream in order to share the the stream with me. If the people that purchase from the stream don't realize that they're getting ripped off, don't realize that there's something shady going on, why are you allowing? Don't allow anyone to hide any broadcast. Have all of the messages there. Find a way to code it into your shitty platform so that we can see everything, so that it's 100% transparent. There's no re there is zero reason that you should allow sellers to hide a broadcast. They're selling on your platform. They need to be held accountable if they're, if they're screwing people over, and it shouldn't be extra effort on the people that want to show that they have been. Ceiling, average, and floor, we are always... <laughs> I was going to make fun of him with the, with the where, the where. So you can tell it was him. It was him writing. If you're going to law school, please fucking learn the difference between where and where. For the love of God. Please. I get it. You, you must have some kind of distribution course that's English. And, the, and if your professor is not laughing at you for doing this shit, they should be. And that's the problem with uh, the ceiling, average, and floor were always something we wanted to be painfully clear about. We stated two black flames boxes costed $200 and the averages for the bags equaled $4 and floor $3. Even when at one point we had 120 151 packs in the box, which would have raised the average, but we kept it the same. We wanted to be as clear as possible. What? That's not clear by keeping it the same and not recalculating what it was. Um, so it seems like it doesn't even work out to what it's supposed to be because they were too lazy to actually go in and, and do the calculations. Again, math, probably not your strongest suit. Uh, if you're in law school, man, like I'm losing faith in everything in existence here. Post new rules, we followed the crowd and went into mystery bags. And to be honest, we think they are not the best. So we are taking a step back from them for the foreseeable future. We will try energy breaks. What the fuck is an energy break? Rip to you hit and selling regular packs and boxes, etc. If you guys have any requests for new games or ideas, feel free to shoot us in the DMs and we will happily credit you if we, if we use any. Sure. Feel free to ask any questions. We just have everyone be respectful and polite. Um, yeah, you're full of shit. You're absolutely full of shit. Top to bottom. Uh, the games the games are sketchy, dude. Come on. And again, like, why are you participating? I get it. A lot of people probably don't realize it. Haven't watched the videos. If anyone's worried about... If they're like, hey, is so-and-so a scammer? Have they done anything shady? Uh, the first step you probably want to take is go onto YouTube and uh, and search, hit in the search bar, put Rattle Pokemon and then the name of whatever the scammer is or whatever the potential scammer is before you're buying from people. So um, let's see. Let's see here. What we got? He's going to he's going to go through here. Yes, he's going to show us the card. So, again, like this is not this is not the solution here. Just because it's in there doesn't mean that you don't. I mean, it does mean that you know exactly where it is and there was footage or clips uh, that we can look at if need be where you're saying that you know where it was that you put it in there so again he knows kind of exactly where it is in this giant stack of uncountable um black baggies could be easily taking advantage of you guys i'm glad that people are at least waking up to this stuff that that are realizing like hey there's a good chance that i'm getting scanned by a lot of this stuff this does this is not this is not the solution um also the fact that you don't even want to address the fact that you were threatening a game store with legal action um with uh with fake resealed packs that you resealed yourself or pretended were resealed when they weren't they were god boxes you're an idiot uh and uh, no one should trust you at any point all right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining the Discord. Lots of new cool people in there. Come on in. See you, see you next time.